Good morning. That's easy for you to say. It's Sunday. It's 5 a.m. and I'm up early. Why? Because I couldn't sleep. Why not such a good morning? Because of that. We're in the very crowded KOA in Chattanooga, Tennessee. They put us in the overflow lot underneath the light. So we're going to just give up on sleep and hit the road. Maybe we'll stop at a rest area on the way down to Albany, Georgia, which is our first destination for this trip. One nice thing about an early start is you get to witness the sunrise. Jennifer's behind the wheel. We are now in the state of Georgia. So thinking back about yesterday, that wind that I talked about, it turned out it was 60 mile an hour gusts there throughout Ohio. So no wonder we were having trouble hanging on. And then thinking about last night and all that light at the KOA, uh, what we need to do is figure out how to get some blackout uh, coverings for those windows. Instead of thinking about blacking out those windows, Mike, we've been thinking a long time. It's time to do it. Yep, you're right. We'll have to get some fabric and make them ourselves. But the good thing is, it's a new day. We've got an early start. Here we go. Note to self, instead of an overcrowded KOA with a bright light overhead, a better place would be this Cracker Barrel in Kennesaw, Georgia. We could have tucked away right back there. Most Cracker Barrels let you stay overnight free. A nice thing about Cracker Barrel is your food is cooked fresh to order. A lot of breakfast places cook up the bacon like ahead of time, leave it there for hours, and they just reheat it in a, in a microwave. Not good. 360 calories, that's turkey bacon. The only thing that's a little questionable, the cheese grits, but I'll take them. Okay, we've arrived. We're in uh, Georgia, and uh, time to spend some time on a boat. This is not too bad. This is the famous Flint River. This is why we are out here. Trees are budded. It's a beautiful day to be on the water. In true transparency, sometimes things go wrong, and this went wrong. This is the knob for the gray tank, and it broke off. Now what do I do? All right, we're gonna put a little WD-40 on it, and see if that works. I'm gonna put a little on there, see if that will free it up. All right, let's see if we can pull this. Boy, is that on there tight. Nope. All right, we got her. Just had to work that rust and corrosion out of there and keep it lubricated. It's working good now. I just have to use a pair of pliers. So the boating is done and now we're doing some driveway camping at our son's place in Albany, Georgia. Getting a grandkid fix. Then it's on to Florida. Oops. Those darn grandkids. <laughs> anyway. That's it for today. No harm, no foul. It's all good. This is uh, day two of our uh, on the road blog. See you tomorrow.